I want to talk to you about one of like the most important discoveries that I ever made. And this is really foundational. If you can get this, it'll change your whole life. It'll change the way that you see the world. So you can see here in this picture, I have a tree. And then I can zoom in to the leaves and the branches. And then I can zoom in to the leaf itself. And then I can zoom in to the cells and the leaves. And at every level, I have a branching pattern. Branching, branching, branching. So a, so a tree is a pattern inside a pattern inside a pattern inside a pattern. It's, it's, it's branching at every level, okay? Now there's a word for this, and the word is fractal, okay? Fractal means pattern inside a pattern inside a pattern inside a pattern. Fractals are everywhere, okay? So, you have a river coming down a mountain, and the water is flowing into the river down to the ocean. Or, it's raining on a Tuesday afternoon, and in your yard, there's a little stream running from the sidewalk into the yard. They look the same even though the little stream in your yard is only one millionth the size of the river and the mountain, okay? Rivers are fractal. Sand dunes are fractal. The craters on the moon, you know, there's all the different size of craters, those are fractal, okay? 80-20 is fractal. There's an 80-20 inside every 80-20. And then there's another one, and another one, and another one. So, back to the screen. Um, these are more mathematical computer generated patterns. So, so over here we have a triangle inside a triangle inside a triangle inside a triangle and they go on infinitely. 80-20 is fractal. So, it describes, so, the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is a picture of fractal 8020s, right? Because there's a big canyon, but then there's smaller ones and smaller ones and smaller ones and smaller ones all the way down to a microscope. And it just keeps going and going, okay? The reason the 8020 is true in business and marketing and sales is the same reason why the Grand Canyon looks like that. The Grand Canyon isn't just one river. It's a million little rivers. It's rivers inside of rivers. So, 80-20 is because of positive feedback. So let me give you an example of positive feedback. You have two 14-year-old boys, and they both sit down on the back porch, and they try Jack Daniels for the first time, okay? And they both like it, but one of them likes it a little more. 30 years later, one of them has one drink a week, and... The other one has 10 drinks a day, right? That's positive feedback. He liked it a little more, so he drank a little more, so he liked that a little more, so he drank some more, and he liked it, and then 30 years later, he's an alcoholic. Positive feedback. It happens the same way as a river forms from water running down a mountain. The water finds a path of least resistance, and then the river gets deeper and deeper and deeper. This is how 80-20 works, okay? If we, if we did a stand-up, if you have more than one bottle of wine in your house, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, it would be true, okay? So, I want to show you something. Uh, pick, a, pick a number between 1 and 50, 30, okay. So I'm gonna show you an interesting little experiment. If you'll show my computer uh, screen here. Um, 
there are seven and a half billion people in the world, and I'm going to use, if, if I say there's, if I say there's 200 countries and 7.5 billion people in the world, then 80-20 will tell me how many people are in every single country. So if you put 80-20 on a graph, it looks like this. And so, so country number 200 is over there in the corner. Country number one, which is China, would be over here. And as you get close to the right side, it zooms up with incredible speed, okay? Now, you said 30, okay? If I mouse over number 30, it says country number 30 is going to have 47 and a half million people. Now, let's go take a look here. This is the Wikipedia page countries by population, okay, and uh, let's see, what was that number? The, the theoretical number that it predicted was 47 million. The actual number of people living in uh, Spain is 46 million. Okay, in other words, I picked a random number. I know there's 200 countries. I know there's 7.5 billion in the world. 8020 will tell you how many people live in country number 30, and it's accurate to within a few percent. 8020 is a law of nature, and it's all over your life, it is everywhere. Go, go back to the regular slides, please. So, if, um, if I put the world's population on an 80-20 curve, the black curve is the theoretical prediction, and the blue is the actual people living in those countries. Or, for example, let's say that I read in the newspaper that Southwest Airlines, very popular airline in the US, has $15 billion of revenue and is number 171 on the Fortune 500. I can plug those numbers into 8020 and I can predict the size of every other company in the Fortune 500, and this is the theory, and this is the actual. So this is going on in your business right now. It's in almost every spreadsheet. It's the files on your hard drive. 20% of the files on your hard drive take up 80% of the space. 20% of the attachments in your email take 80% of the space. Now, let me, let me show you another example of this. These are the top albums of 2012. Adele, 21, Taylor Swift, Red, One Direction, Up All Night. Now, I want to show you something. If I take all those albums, I got this data from Spotify. If I take Adele's album, 21, and I rank the, the songs from the least popular to the most popular, the blue line is how many plays they actually got. Now if I take all of those albums, all the top albums of 2012, and I say how many plays did track five get, this is what that graph looks like. If I say all the songs on all of the albums of 20, uh, top albums of 2012, this is how many plays each song got. Do you see that this is exactly 80-20 whether I look at one album, I look at track five on all, all the albums, or I look at all the songs on the al all the albums, they're all 80-20. 
And everything in your business is like this too. If you can see this, you'll have the ability to predict what's going to happen in the future. Hi, this is Perry Marshall. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends.